Hey guys, Andrew Tran here with the Inner Bark Outdoors channel. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. I do weekly videos on the outdoors, survival, do-it-yourself, and reviews on pretty much everything outdoors related. And so in this video, I wanted to do a review on the AIM Field Sports Drag Bag. Uh, this is a bag that they sent to me a couple months ago for testing and evaluation. Uh, I did get it for free, so that's just a little disclaimer there. And uh, they sent it over so I could test it um, both in my travels and also in the field. And uh, I've been using it quite extensively over the last few months. Uh, primarily, this is going to be carrying my Precision um, semi-automatic rifle. It's an Aero Precision M5E1. I've featured it in quite a few of my videos before. And so uh, the beauty of this bag is not only is it feature packed, but it also comes in different sizes. So you can really fine tune it to the length of your weapon system. But uh, without further ado, check it out. A drag bag is essentially a padded rifle case with the ability to carry extra gear. The name comes from the practice of dragging the bag behind you in a low crawl, but most of the time you're probably going to be wearing it as a backpack. To back up and relieve a lot of the stress on the zippers, there's a series of quick release buckles that surround the perimeter of the main compartment that hold the rifle. The rifle itself is held in place very well with three included straps. The majority of the rifle weight is supported by a webbing reinforced pocket. The rifle strap emplacement can be adjusted on the webbing ladder. This is really great for adjusting the straps based on your equipment, bipods, and your scope, so you're not putting stress on weird parts of your rifle. The long pouch on the front has a row of elastic to secure things like magazines or other like-sized items. Right next to it, the rectangular compartment has a zipper pocket on the exterior. This pocket is unpadded and doesn't have any internal organization. The main compartment of this pouch is padded and has two pockets with elastic tops. For me, it's a good place to keep my rear bag, Kestrel, and rangefinder. The back side of the drag bag holds the shoulder straps and the waist straps. The compartment is zippered to keep debris out and also to keep it nice and slick and tucked away. The shoulder straps are secured by a twist lock carabiner and the waist straps are held in place by a lobster claw type clasp. So I would have to say that these straps are probably one of the more comfortable straps I've had on a drag bag. Right here, instead of being sewn into the main part of the pack, they're actually uh, mounted onto D-rings. So the D-rings allow some movement. So for really big dudes that are wide, um, it kind of widens up. For real thin people, it kind of shrinks down a little bit. So it, that's really nice. And because these straps are so, I would say stiff, they don't cut into you like some of the, uh, the more flimsy straps out there. A lot of the flimsy straps, what you end up having is right where the webbing is right here in the center, all that weight gets put on there and then um, the padding doesn't really do much after that. But with this being as rigid as it is, it spreads out the weight through the entire thing. So it's pretty comfortable. What's nice about this drag bag series is that they also come in different lengths to accommodate different length rifles and also to fit different hard cases. The only issue that I have with this bag is the cleaning rod holder is a little bit too short. Since I'm using a semi-automatic platform, my rod is a little bit longer for the semi-automatic gun than it is for say a bolt gun. So that is the AIM Field Sports Drag Bag. This thing is pretty awesome. Um, I've had experience with both the Everly Stock one, which I've owned for the longest, uh, for the longest time, also the Tactical Tailor, and so far this one is my favorite, and it also doesn't cost um, as much as the other ones. Um, so keep that in mind for when you're purchasing as well. Uh, shipping and handling was actually really quick. I think I got this within two weeks and it came direct from the UK. So um, I'm gonna have a link down below for where you guys can find it. Uh, I do believe they're working on US distributors, so that should cut down a lot on the shipping costs and also um, shipping times. But uh, if you guys have any comments or questions, go ahead and message me direct or comment down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe, and also check out my Facebook page, Instagram, and other social media. It really helps me know that these are the kind of videos that you like to see. But as always, take care out there. Bye.